How is it? Sean from Combat Simulations. Right, rule the waves three. We're going to play as Austria-Hungary this time. All right, we're going to play the whole campaign. Starting in the 1890s, and we're going to play right through to 1970 if we survive. All right, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. And also leave comments and suggestions. And watch my videos and like them and share them. Helps me a lot. It really does. All right, so we're going to start as Austria-Hungary. Uh, yeah, here we're going to begin as them. Let's see if we can make it. I'm going to put it on super large. So we've got the, 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 the possibility of a huge fleet. Um, we're going to keep the slight tech variation to make it, you know, interesting. I'll, I'll leave the harsher t uh, piece t uh, deals off. AI advantage off. Uh, forget about the slow aircraft development. And we'll play it at 100% maximum airbase size. And we'll play as Von Sch Von Stemek. <laughs> okay, we'll play as him. I'll, I'll use that game there. Game one is empty. And we'll play on, I, I'm going to play on Admiral mode. The most, uh, the most realistic mode that we can play. All right, so just let's just load everything up. Now, I'm going to try and keep these episodes no longer than 40 minutes. So we'll play for 40 minutes. I'll uh, record 40 minutes of play. But depending, you know, not hard in stone. But depending on how we go, you know, because, you know, the, the tactical battles can take you quite a bit. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm aiming for 40-minute episodes. All right. So we've got three battleships. We've got some uh, cruisers, uh, armored cruisers. And we've got some light cruisers. And we've got a few um, of these um, corvettes. We use and we need to use them in the in, in when we yeah. Well, we don't. The, the beauty with Austria, Hungary, is that there's no... Let's look at us on the map here. All right, there's no. It's I picked Austria Hungary as our first playthrough. I'm, my my goal is to play all all the all the nations, and I'm very interested in playing Germany. That's going to be my favorite nation, and Great Britain, and the USA, and Japan, and all of them. But I thought as a good first playthrough to start with Austria Hungary because I think it's the the easiest nation to play through as a beginning stage to get to know the game and see and how it works and to play right through to eighteen to nineteen seventy. To see how everything works uh, and in a sort of a friendly way. Because Austria-Hungary doesn't have any possessions around the world. So it's a simpler nation to play. Our main concern is Italy, the Mediterranean. This is the only place where we are in the Mediterranean. So our main protagonists here are Italy and, uh, of course, Russia and then Spain. That's all we've got to contend with. And I think a bit of there's a there looks like a bit of United Kingdom, a bit of Britain over here. But really, those are our those are our main rivals here. So our our my focus will be to dominate the Mediterranean because it's really all we can go and forget about all these other colonies and whatever. Let the other countries worry about that. Uh, because I mean, look at poor Spain. I mean, Spain's not a big country. It hasn't got I don't think the biggest navy. And it's got all these colonies to worry about. What a nightmare! They actually say that Spain is the hardest uh, country to play, the trickiest one. Well. Yeah, we'll leave that one to the last. I'll probably pay them as the last nation until I become an expert. So Austria-Hungary it is. And it's simple, straightforward. We don't have a lot of ships. We don't have any... Uh, the only area is the Mediterranean. And that's where we need to... You know, that's that's really where our, our tonnage requirements are, is the Mediterranean. And that's all we need to worry about. All right, so we've got 20 per siege. Our fleet morale is, is zero. So we also have no tonnage in foreign nations. We've got a dock size of 9,000. Uh, we've got, uh, um, yeah, there's nothing else there. A yearly budget of 106,000. Uh, yeah, and we've got a monthly budget of 1,326. Uh, ships under construction. We've got a, quite a bit under construction. That's why we don't have so, so, much, uh, so much money freely available. But that's all right. We'll fix that. And then we've got some battleships over here. In terms of our strengths, let's look at the, the, the Almanac. Uh, we mainly concerned, uh, yeah, the technical defenses, only the Japan's behind. Our main concern is obviously Italy and uh, Russia. So we kind of, but if you look, I mean, we've got three battleships in service and Italy's got seven and Russia's got 11. Uh, you understand? And so they have much bigger tonnage than us. And they also have, we kind of, like, we've got six uh, armored cruisers and they've got eight, 18 light cruisers. We've got nine, almost double ours. So we've got our hands full with Italy. 
They've got a big, big navy, and so does Russia. I don't. We don't need to worry about Spain. I think we can. I think we can avoid Spain. We're not going to run into Spain much. So our main worry is Italy and uh, uh, Russia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set our intel here. Uh, let's put our intel. Let's work on the in intelligence first. Let's put our intel for Italy at medium. We put that at medium, and we'll keep everybody else at low. I'm, I always, I'm a firm believer in having intel for everybody. We need to know what's going on in the world. Uh, you know, we need to know what's happening in the world instead of just you know knowing about our our, our neighbors here. So we got it. Italy as medium, Russia as medium, and um, I'll keep Spain at uh, at low. Um, research. I'm not going to do much here. I'm just going to put this up to ten percent. I won't put it to 11 because there's a diminishing return. So 10% and I'm going to leave everything medium. You know, let, let these guys figure out what, what needs to come through. We'll, we'll leave it at medium. Uh, doctrine, I do also like to put, I want to put some, some experience in gunnery. And I'm going to use torpedo warfare. Uh, I'm going to change that and put uh, experience in torpedo warfare. And the reason I'm doing that is because torpedoes are, well, the ships carry them. You know, the, these ships in this age... There's no submarines, but they've got torpedoes in the front and the back, and it's quite useful at the back with these ships, because if they're running away, and uh, the tr uh, there's a ship pursuing them, if you they've got these these torpedoes at the back, so it can release those torpedoes. So they're helpful, the torpedoes. So it's good to have some experience in torpedoes. I'm going to leave everything else as it is default, because I'm not sure exactly what to do. Yeah, <laughs> okay, till we get to know, the, till I become better at this game. Um, Anything else? I'm going to put, because we now, I mean, it's free time. I'm going to put everybody on a reserve. And now watch there. See, it's given us some money back. And as this gets up, you know, the tension. Uh, once it gets into like that reddish yellow or up here, I'll switch everybody off to, uh, uh, switch everybody down to, um, uh, back to active fleet. So I think that's, that's what I'm going to do over there. Um, I'm going to leave... Ships under construction, 15 months for these battleships. We do need them, but this is like old model battleships. I mean, they got, I think this is, let's just have a look here. Yeah, they've got cramped, cramped uh, accommodation. But you know that that's only affecting if their ships are, if you've got ships in far away places, <coughs> far from home, uh, then, then they're cramped. But if your ships are close to your country or your base, I was reading in the manual, you can have them on in cramped. Accommodation cramp doesn't affect the crews too much because they're very close to to their home base to the home base, so you can have them. And also this uh, freeboard, you can have it on as low. Uh, freeboard is basically it helps your ships. Well, if you get if you get out to the Atlantic, you see the Mediterranean is basically very. Um, uh, it doesn't have a lot of storms there. The, the weather, the water is pretty calm. But when you get to the Atlantic and that, <clears throat> if you don't, if you have this at low, it'll affect the buoyancy of your boats. But not so much in the Mediterranean. You can have your you can have your your boats um, with a low freeboard, and that's what I was reading about. So that's why I'm I'm not too worried about cramped and low, uh, especially you know some of these they have um, short service like SA. That means it's short range, so you can't basically when they short range you can't send them to other areas. They can't move to other zones. If they're medium and large range, you can have ships and other. But, but you know we don't need it because we're not. We're not, we don't have colonies there. And my immediate goal is not to conquer the world with Austria-Hungary. It's not going to happen. I'm not interested in taking over everybody. My immediate goal is to survive in the Mediterranean and maybe later dominate in the Mediterranean. But at the moment, I don't know. The thing is, with this game, I know it models, it, it's, it models closely history and all this sort of thing. So I'd like to see, because the game, when you start in 1980, 1890, sorry, it goes right up to 1970. So I don't know how the game's going to model Austria-Hungary. Because, you know, the, the Germany in the Second World War takes over Austria. They annexed Austria and Hungary and that with their own countries. And they annexed these guys and they fell away. So there was no more Austria-Hungary. So I don't know how that's, how that's going to how that's gonna play out later for Austria-Hungary. So I'm curious to find out how the games model that. So we're gonna we're gonna find out in the come the second first world war. I think we'll still be all right here, but coming the second world war, coming closer to 1940, how does the game model Austria-Hungary this relationship with Germany? So it'd be interesting. So if we, or it does it does it allow us just to play right through to 1870 as a as a country on its own. 
All right, so that's my only, that's my bits and pieces on that. Uh, yeah, um, ships in service. I'm going to leave everybody. I'm going to make, obviously, I'm going to make some divisions. But you know what? I won't worry about the divisions right now. Or should I? Maybe I should. Maybe I should start putting in divisions. I think I'm going to put some divisions in now. And uh, just in case, because I don't know uh, if they're in divisions now, does it help the, I mean, I'm assuming maybe it helps the, the organization of the, of the of your of your navies better and whatever if you have them in divisions from the from day one but you know obviously we're not at war so we don't need those divisions so i'm not sure maybe I, you know what i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it i won't put the, the anybody in divisions until we get into war until something happens where we're at war with italy or russia and then uh, when it gets close to that time i'll start arranging all all our ships in divisions so i'll leave it for now um fleet exercise uh, you know what? You, it's nice to hold a fleet exercise. It's like a mock battle, and you get you get some victory points for it, and I, th I think you get some prestige for it. I don't know, but it's basically just a like a tutorial thing. You go in there and you fight against your own ships, and nothing happens. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use this because basically nothing happens from it. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave this fleet editor. I don't think we need to use it. Um, nothing else I want to build. I'm happy with the three battleships. And these cruisers, armored cruisers. I'm just thinking we've got a fair amount of armored cruisers. We've got a fair amount of uh, light cruisers as well. I'd like to build a few more corvettes. So maybe I think I'm going to build a corvette, these CE. Because, you know, we might need them. I'd like maybe one or two more. Um, let's pick the let's pick the 900 ton. Okay. So I think I'm just going to build a one, one extra just to help out there. Yeah, I'm going to build a... Uh, let me just see if we can get a name for it. I want to rather give it a Yeah, okay, so there's we're gonna build build this uh, it's 12 months So it's not too long and it's basically just a Corvette. So what happens when we get to war? We might we're probably gonna need some of these Corvettes on trade uh, trade um, What's this thing? Yeah? Uh, where does it say you'll see now trade protection, so we'll need We'll need those corvettes on trade protection when we go to war. So it's always handy. And I think we need about, we need a few of them. You know, we need about uh, two or three of them. So I'm going to have one extra one just handy in case. And they, and they later on can become good with uh, anti-submarine warfare as well. So we'll build one of those. The three CA uh, armored cruisers and the battleships are happy with that. Is there anything else I want to do before I get started? Doctrine and research we covered. I put everybody on reserve. Uh, I've, now, do I want to, yeah, I might want to, you know what, I do want to build a base here. So I want to see what my money, uh, 641, and we've got 16,000 around in, uh, um, 16,000 in, 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 I don't know, uh, mocks, whatever the currency is, we've got 16,000 available in funds. I'm thinking of, because these guys, these guys have got, these four inch batteries and some six inch batteries i'm thinking of uh, where's the ship construction uh, 11 12 months i think we can handle a little bit over there so maybe i'm going to i'm gonna in in a dalmatia i'm gonna build i'm gonna build some fortifications i'm actually gonna build some five inch let's just see what the cost of that is i only want to build four Maybe we make it six inch. What is six inch? Okay, so that's the monthly cost. Eesh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we just we just need the five inch. Let's keep it there. I'll, I'll build four five inch. And they'll go for the build time is six months. It's a thousand rand coming off our, our budget. So I'm gonna say yes to that. And there we go. We're in the red a little bit, but that's okay. Because in six months they'll come out and this 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 will they'll fall away and we'll probably get some more funds as we build i would also like to expand the dock size so we can build bigger so i'm wondering if i should yes right, i'm going to hang off on that because sometimes what happens in the game is that private contractors you know they they help with the dock size and sometimes they'll give you extra dock size i'll hang off on that a bit anything else I've got our officers, we'll put, we'll put officers, we'll give officers to, because I mean, all our ships have officers, I'm assuming. 
now okay so they've all been base overviews not to worry about that okay area is just we in the mediterranean coastal fortifications we build and ships under construction and i'm building one of those all right cool let's hit the turn next turn okay france has laid down some battleships italy's laid down an armored cruiser russia germany they've all laid down a few items uh, it's now february let's turn again our scientists report that they that they are working on the problems of an improved shipbuilding steel but nothing it's, it's all eluded them so far and yeah there's some some intel you can always nice you can look at the intel reports here um and what what it's been picked up it's, you take this with a pinch of salt because the little star here means that we're still developing that you know these little stars next to the low means it's not yet fully uh functional the intelligence network right let's go to the next turn now we are in march correct okay uh these guys have put down their battleships uh usa is building 10 coastal batteries yeah okay and one of our uh, this is probably one of our, our soldiers, one of our officers. He's got the average ability. All right, next turn. Tension with Russia is reduced as we have no areas of conflicting interest. So we're not. Remember, we, we, we always need to keep the tension up. Or we, you know, we want to keep it because that gives us prestige and also, you know, it gives us money. But we don't want to, we don't want to be like, too much in wars as well we've got to be careful uh increases due to historical part uh germany's reduced and japan's reduced so italy has gone up a bit all right that's fine keep it going okay so we finished the construction of five uh, inch coastal batteries in dalmatia okay that's the five and now we have our first sort of uh, event a new hawkish government wants to raise armament expenditures. What is your reaction? Uh, okay, um, you're yeah, excellent, but you've got to watch out for the unrest level too. Uh, but the tension is very high, so we get a bit in the budget. A strong navy, yeah. Okay, so we don't want to lose prestige, so we'll go for the middle one. We don't want too much tension there. Eh? Okay, see they were getting the yellow bits Yeah, We're going to be at war now, now, with old um, Italy, I'm sure of it. How's our ships looking? Okay, so we haven't got much time. I think I'm going to increase the 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 the, the dock size by a thousand, so we can build bigger ships. That's very important. But as far as this is going, I'm happy with this. All right, let's hit the turn. There's nothing else to. How's our how's our doctrine come? Are we still busy with our doctrine? Okay, let's just see. What's we're getting some increases with Italy here. Yeah? Tension with France is reduced. We got some intelligence on Italy. Uh, so they're constructing some uh, light cruisers. All right, let's go. Uh, how's our construction? Five. So we got five still. Okay. Go turn. Uh, tension with Italy increases due to random tension events. All right, that's fine. We're getting a bit of attention. I'm not going to switch the ships over just yet. I'm going to keep them because they're saving us money in this this uh, re re uh, reserve fleet. All right, let's go. All right, the Kaiser is asking if you can guarantee a victory over Italy if war should come. <laughs> what is your answer? Well, well trained navy easily beat a handful of the old years of that. You see, a bit of the. We can't, you know, prestige is important. If it gets down to 16, they'll fire you. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. A well-trained navy will easily beat their collection of rusted old hulks. Hey, it's, it's a problem, but we can't lose prestige. So let's just see what this has done. Okay, so it's, bring them, it's brought them up a bit. Let's look at Italy over here. Do we know anything about Italy? We, do we have some kind of... So they've got seven battleships. I mean, they've got, they, they've got a much, much larger navy than us. I mean, if you look at the Mediterranean, there it is. We've got three battleships. Great Britain's got three. So we, uh, France has got four. So we have a bit of a conflict with France. We can, but Italy's got seven there. I mean, this is not a, this is not Mickey Mouse stuff, eh? All right, so let's just see if we can hold out a bit. Private ship, uh, shipbuilding is expanding. Max stock size increased by 500 tons. Thank you very much from the 
private industry. Our ship's uh, CA uh, Adrena is, uh, is commissioned by the Navy during its trials. It found that the ship is somewhere over, somewhat overweight. Our top spy has managed to get hold of the blueprints for the U.S. ship uh, Light Cruiser Columbia, currently under construction. Now, I don't know what happens here, and I've been playing this game. I've had a few games with this, with this game. And these reports come up, and they say that we've got the blueprints for the ship. But I don't know how... Okay, and it shows you the ship, right? It shows you why, what the blueprints, like 2.5. It just gives you the idea of what ship this is, and how many tons, and how many are the speed of it. But nowhere does it seem to save this thing. Uh, what I mean is, like, if you look at when you design a ship, where does it... How do we know now that that's been incorporated? Are we using that blueprint? I'm taking that blueprint. Oh, not of that. Where is it? We're looking for a light cruiser, right? I'm taking a, I'm taking a, a blueprint from the light cruiser. But now, where does it say we've we've incorporated it? Is it incorporated automatically in the game? Uh, is it, does it help our do, do those specs that we got the blueprints from the user? Do we take the best of those and incorporate, them in, incorporate it in this design process of, of the best we know of what we know at the, at the time? So I don't know how it's done. I'm assuming. I mean, it it just gives you the picture and tells you what what they're doing. I don't I don't know if we incorporate it or it's just a, like an informational thing. So, but as you go along in the game, we'll 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 figure that one out. Okay, so a whole lot of stuff was released here, man. Yeah, okay, no, it was just one. And what do we have still in, under construction? Okay, we still got two CAs. We did still coming, and that's coming in two months, and we got that, that, that Corvette. Now, this is what came now. Okay, so, all right, so was a CA. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to sign him a, uh, sign a new commander. Uh, we don't want a Timido, so I'll take this average O, because it's basically what we know, and I'll put him in there. So he's got a commander. And I'm just hoping that these guys are going to also uh, all reserve. Let's just make sure. We want to keep them as reserve until we get to a situation where we, you know, I know it's a bit yellow now with Italy, but you never know what will happen. Okay, we've got a thousand, blue, thousand monthly balance there. Okay, so... Uh, this, uh, Comet Cruiser Captain, uh, and, uh, above have, have been arrested as a spy for Italy. The trial is coming up, but the evidence appears flimsy, and the case might be political, politically motivated. What do you do? Oh, okay, so now, okay, let's just see. Use your influence to get him acquitted. Okay, so minus prestige plus one tension, so we lose it. We are sitting at 21 prestige. Uh, he has put he's put a blot on the honor of the navy. He deserves the most severe punishment the law can allow. I'm going to go with this because I don't want to lose. I uh, see both of them gets. You see, if we use that, yeah, we no. Hang on, hang on. If we use this, look, we lose prestige and we get one tension, but we lose prestige. But if we use this one, we just get tension. So that's a better one. We don't want. Okay, so now, now you see this thing. Now it's over here. Now we need to switch over uh, to active fleet because now the time is a bit. Uh, it's a bit wonky now with Italy because they're gonna and they can go to war at any time. Okay, so Great Britain has done all this. Japan has commissioned the flag, and the tension with Italy increases. Okay, we need to now uh, mobilize. Let me just. We need to mobilize all these buggers. Sorry, we need to mobilize everybody and let them all wake up now because this is very close. Are you with me? Uh, okay, ships under construction. These O's are still, in one month we're going to release those O's. Uh, I'm going to just turn this. I want to see, let me just see how the doctrine is looking. Okay, we're still busy. I'm going to turn this once. Okay, so our training crews have gone through. I just hope we're not at war right now. Okay, and waking up, and that that guy's been committed. Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we need to fill the post of the naval attaché to Peru. This is a prestigious appointment that no offer, no officer would refuse. Uh, I have just a man for the post. Now, what does that mean? There must be someone not 
someone not on fleet duty that we could send. Uh, who's the, the man for the post? Does it mean I'm, I pick the guy? Okay, let's just see what I... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to send this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to send an arbitrary because I don't want to send our bestos. I'll send him. Okay, so he's gone. Okay, they finished working up. Okay, so we got to watch it here because this O's, these O's, yeah, they're going to come. All right. Uh, there's one of those come. Let's just uh, give him a sign a new command. Uh, let's give him, I won't give him the timid guy, I'll just give him that. So he's got to come on. And we're waking up, so we're getting up because it's close with it here. And I think I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to then uh, do the division editor. But I'm going to end the episode here. Okay. So, because I mean, it's uh, it's been about 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes. So I'm going to end it here before we get to war. So what I'll do is in the next episode, I'll set up the division editor now, have it all set and just save the game here. And uh, I'll start off with the second episode in the next video. Yeah, yeah. And I'll do one every day of this while we're playing Austria and see how far we can get. So I think I'm going to end it where it is now. It's close to war. The Italians almost, because they can go to war now. This could sit like this for a year, for many months. Or it can just, like, one of these events, and this thing goes wonky and we're in war. And that's why I've taken these guys, I've taken them off reserve fleet. It charges a monthly balance, but we've got to keep this ready. Because the Italians, and the thing is, if, the thing is, if you look under construction, these battleships are going to be in three or four months' time. So we could be ready in war by this time. So I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, take a chance with this. So we'll leave it as it is now, and I'm going to set up the division editor. So when we play in the next video, I'll, I'll this this I'll have all this in divisions, and I'll explain what I did in the next episode. All right, God bless you. All right, so until our next episode, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Sean from Combat Simulation. Subscribe to my channel. It's free. Leave comments, suggestions. Uh, watch my videos and like all my videos as well. You know, it helps me a lot. All right, until our next video, is Austria-Hungary. Can't wait. Good day on you.